Um, my name's Junior Burke. I own Burke's V Twin. I've been working on Harleys professionally for about 10 years now. I like to do things as close to like factory would have been with a little twist, you know? We're gonna look at this 48 I put together last month and my cousin's FXR. This bike was a lot of fun. Good friend of mine locally had a couple parts I really liked and I actually went out and got the bike because it started developing in my head. I found this perfect foundation. It's a 48 FL, uh, shovel head top end on it. It's actually an aftermarket frame, but it's stock geometry, which is really cool. I'm into the low front ends, easy to ride. Never had a front brake, so this will be fun. Uh, suicide shift, pan head hydroglide front end. Uh, we got some factory 52 fat bobs. Um, my buddy Ethan and I laid down some lines and did a, the old rattle can paint job. It's like the whole bike. And we put a 62 paint scheme on it just to get the, the real Harley nerd something to talk about, you know? Laced up an 18 inch rear wheel. Fender was kicking around the shop. Got the same river seats that's kind of my go to these past few years. It's the same one off my old bike. We kept it and slapped it on there. 16 inch eight hangers, 21 inch front wheel. Got the uh, the finger mid foot controls. The other night I was bored. I, I realized that a clutch outer pressure plate is the same bolt holes as a Super E. So I welded up some chain and made a little derby deflector there just to look done. Um, some good old Ace hardware chain for the suicide shifter. So we're we're doing the it's the reverse chopper look. When I got this thing in Philly, it had a small peanut tank on it and a fender to match, purple and gold paint, narrow glide. It just, it needed some of the ugly knocked off, but the bones were there. And, you know, like I said, I got the real tanks. I had this Wassel fender sitting around. Uh, my buddy got the front end, so we pieced that all together out of piles. It was too cool. A little spring here, spring there. Before you know it, so bolted it on. I think my favorite part of the bike is the front wheel I got from my buddy Ethan. It's actually laced with a cross two pattern. And I've been lacing true wheels for whatever, five, six years now, often. Uh, for me, it actually pops a lot. You gotta love it. This bike is a 92 FXR. Um, it's my cousin's, my older cousin Ryan. We bought it back when I first moved home from Illinois, uh, like three years ago or so. And uh, it came in bins from under a trailer in the trailer park. A couple grand, he got into it. Um, we rebuilt the entire motorcycle. It's got a hundred thousand plus miles on it um, the lady we bought it from rode this thing in like 48 states over whatever the years of owning it and taking it apart left it in the shed so we got it um, my cousin has been like an idol to me my whole life I ride motorcycles because of him and my uncle really um, so we got to build the whole thing together uh, it was really cool. We finished it about a year ago and he rode it last season. And whenever he had time coming up, we rebuilt a whole motor for it, dropped it in just the other day. High compression, uh, you know, Andrew's cam, ready to go. Um, our boy George Quirk painted it a couple of years ago, almost three years ago now. Um, Brian Chaney on the pinstripes, which just fucking set it off. One of my favorite colors ever. Uh, when we built this new motor for it, we went with the red jugs, do something a little different. Figured it'd make the, the pinstripes pop. 
and it fucking killed it. I'm like, we're thrilled about it. I'm doing a set of red cylinders for my boy Wes, and that's gonna be sick on his pan head. I like to see stuff different, you know? And uh, we chromed everything out. Love chrome, especially on color bikes. The gauges work fully. It's the original to the bike, 92. Um, 10 inch risers, Bassani. You know, we cleaned the wheels. It came with black wheels. We got blonde, to kind of set off with the, the silver of the paint. And we did the whole motor totally clean. We vapor hone all that stuff in house. Some cool features on it. There's a, a 67, 68 tail light Frenched into the rear fender. George did that. It looks fucking spectacular. Um, you know, we didn't go too crazy on performance parts, really. We kind of focused on rebuilding every square inch. Um, Ryan, my older cousin, did every goddamn part of this bike with me, and it was really cool. Um, I can't wait to see it go down the road every day. We ran next to it last season and it was clapped. So this bike uh, is one we're building this winter for a really good friend of mine, Kevin Finnegan. I actually worked for him back when I was 19. Another guy I, I grew up looking up to. It's it's really cool to be able to do these. Um, this is a 62 motor that we picked up. I initially put the whole roller together for myself. I wanted to build another bike this past year. and. Uh, getting ready to do some things for winter and this upcoming year with the business, I decided to sell it off and, and Kevin's wanted to build a bike with me for a couple of years now. Um, it's a rigid frame, uh, straight leg with some real, I believe 51, 50 tanks. Um, someone had chopped off the tank shift, but we don't, doesn't bother us. We got a mouse trap on it, another river seat. I like them, you can, you can really move around a lot when you ride, you kind of beat these things pretty hard, so any seat feels like a steel pan after 40 miles. Um, Kevin and I picked this sissy bar, it was all bent to shit, um, we got it from a guy right in, in Barrington, uh, my buddy Paul helped me bend it back straight as we could get it, and, and we made it fit the bike, it, it's killer old chrome. Um, we've got the old spare tire cover for the rear wheel. Uh, another thing we found together, it was undrilled, um, getting tougher to find. Pretty cool, it's what they used to do back in the day. They'd bob their fenders out and, and take shit from other cars, what was available. Uh, we got a 33 VL tail light. Uh, a buddy of ours, also in with tunic, came up with that and some neat floorboards. We don't have them on the bike yet, but they will be. Um, I've got a 32 Ford brake pad as his brake pad up there on the, on the front. 21 inch wheel, 18 rear again. That's, I always run that. I, you drop your shoulder and the whole bike turns. I, I just, I love the way that the tall tires set up. Um, dog bone risers, uh, OEM front brake. It's got OEM hubs front and rear. The bike's primarily Harley, which is really cool. You know, I like using real stuff and, and getting that OEM plus look, if you will. Um, my mechanic here, Drew at the shop, had the killer idea for the tips on the exhaust. Wanted to do something a little different, can't buy it again. You know, we get these things together as close to factory as we can and just switch up a little, some stuff, you know? Um, the turnouts are really cool. I don't really, just gotta kinda look around here. We're gonna run this uh, oil filter on it, some doodads, a mouse trap, like I mentioned. Uh, hopefully get him to go suicide clutch after a little bit of riding. Um, other than that, it's pretty straightforward. 
belt drive, it's the right tr tranny, fully polished, chromed out. OEM rear brake too. Uh, I'm getting ready to wire it up this week. Again, I got all the cloth shit. So we'll make this one run and then do a couple more with my buddy.